Hello and welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we are going to do magnetic loading matching. That is very important. And if we cannot match the value of magnetic loading here in finite element method and with our analytic assumption, so the rest of simulations is useless because this is very important so the value of magnetic loading here is 0.75 and the value of magnetic loading here is 0.8 now how i can increase the value of magnetic loading here consider that i assumed the thickness of air gap equal to 1 mm and as you know if I reduce the thickness of air gap I can increase the value of magnetic loading because the reluctance of air gap decreases if I decrease the value of the air gap thickness so let's try if I write here, for example, 0.8 and repeat the simulation, analyze. The simulation is running, completed. Now you can see the value of magnetic loading here, 0.79, that is close to 0.8. Right by uh, just by a proper selection of the air gap thickness. Now let's see the value of leakage factor is 0.88. I can write here 0.88 and the value of reluctance factor 1.15. 1 1.15. 1 I updated these two values related to magnet. Let me save the Excel file. The depth of magnet is 3.2 for this case. Let's update the magnet steps to 3 and repeat the simulation. Analyze to see the value of calculated magnetic loading 0.78 the leakage factor and reluctance factor so the value of magnet thickness was 3.24 3.3 because this is a, a rough method for calculation of the depth of the magnet depth of the magnet I need to increase a little bit higher thickness for magnet. So let me consider the previous number 3.5 and repeat the. Don't need the repeat because we have the results. So as you can see here, the value of magnetic loading is 0.8, reluctance factor, and Leakage, leakage factor these numbers and I updated these numbers for my design here so by these assumptions and this stator board diameter this magnet thickness and this air gap thickness I can get 0.8 as my magnetic loading for this design right so uh, this video was just about iterative process for uh, magnetic loading matching that is very important to match this number by our assumption uh, here in the software so now Let's uh, check something. 
let me delete this one yes i am going to plot the magnitude of flux density inside the stator lamination so you can see the let me add a marker to see the value of add a marker to see the maximum value inside for example this tooth that is 1.4 my assumption here was for bsd packs 1.6 so it means that i can reduce the stator tooth width a little bit so let me update wsd to equal to seven right and repeat the simulation again analyze because bsd bsy and bry were our assumptions for maximum flux density in different locations of the stator and rotor core as you can see here the value is 1.46 right we can reduce it again a little bit this is the value of magnetic loading so anyway you can uh, modify uh, the dimensions in finite element software and fix these numbers anyway so uh, okay i think it's uh, enough for this video thanks for watching and let's continue in the next video